remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Just as I and many of you predicted, Terry Crews has issued a public apology to Gabrielle Union and black women in general for the comments he made about her exit from America's Got Talent as a judge. Terry Crews took to Twitter and this is what he had to say. I told Kevin Hart a while ago he needed to acknowledge the pain of other people. Right now, I have to do the same thing. I want to apologize for the comments I made. I realize there are a lot of black women hurt and let down by what I said and also by what I didn't say. I hear you, I respect you and understand you. I am sorry and I am here to support you. I spoke from my own personal point of view without first taking into consideration someone else's experience. I allowed disrespectful comments directed at me and my family to cause me to react angrily instead of responding thoughtfully. This certainly caused more harm, and it is my hope that I can amend any pain I have caused to those who were hurt by my words. He went on to address Gabrielle Union directly. Gabrielle, I want you to know it was never my intention to invalidate your experience, but that is what I did. I apologize. You have been through a lot in this business, and with that, I empathize with the struggle toward fairness and equality in the workplace, he continued. Gabrielle's contract was not renewed for the 15th season of America's Got Talent, following several behind-the-scenes incidents and in what showrunners called difficult behavior. Who do you believe? Y'all think the apology was sincere? It sounded sincere. I mean, it sounded really sincere. The only problem I have with it is dude got like a record of just doing a whole lot of questionable stuff. Like doing whatever he got to do, saying whatever he got to say to get the bag. That's the thing that bothers me. Saying whatever they got to say to get the bag. Let me ask you something, family. When did we become a society where we constantly apologize and take back what we mean, what's in our heart? I'm not doing it. Do what you got to do, but I'm not doing it. Now, if I sincerely believe in taking something back, I'll do it. I don't need any type of public platform. It don't have to be about no money. It can be as simple as me feeling like I did wrong to my brother, my sister, my cousin, my friend, a stranger in the bar that maybe I bumped into and because I was preoccupied thinking about other things, maybe I failed to say excuse me. I didn't really feel it or whatever. Person say, hey, you know, hey man, you bumped into, oh, well, my bad, my bad. You know, it's that simple. Ain't got nothing to do with me being a coward, afraid, not, that ain't, I ain't on that kind of time. It's as simple as realizing that perhaps you made a mistake and it was not something that you intended to do. Okay, my bad, I apologize. Maybe sometimes we say things in the heat of the moment and it's really not in our heart, but sometimes you, you might say something because you want to get under somebody's skin and maybe it was unwarranted. I can go there if I have to and if I'm doing it purposely, consciously, I ain't taking it back. But, you know, off the rip, Maybe if I say something out of line and I you know, probably shouldn't have said, I don't have a problem apologizing. In fact, I think that is a strength. I don't think apologizing is a weakness. I think it's a strength. But I do think it's a weakness if you do it 
to get the bag. If you only apologize and to get to the money, I think that is a weakness. And I do believe Terry Crews is only apologizing because black women threw that fire on his ass. They was not playing with him. They were letting him know everywhere, you canceled. And he got stuff in the works. He probably thought because he had those movie deals and stuff already done, you know, he had some stuff filmed already that he was cool. But after you film, you got to get people to go watch the movie. And after the movie leaves the theaters, you got to get them to pay for it on TV. Then you got to get them to buy the DVD. Are they still selling DVDs? Whatever. <laughs> but you catch my drift. You have to have that ongoing support and try to hit that lick in every area where there's a revenue stream. So trust you me. He got a call from the big boys. Hey, Terry. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been watching us. What, they're ripping you apart, man. They're killing us, man, you know. Uh, we're getting to think it's going to affect the movie. You know, might have to cut you out. <laughs> Refilm, because you know they'll do that. They will cut you out of a movie and shoot around you. Like, actually add the movie can be finished they'll go in and edit it and take all your parts out and if they have to reshoot some stuff and add a whole new character they will do that terry cruz ain't got that kind of power in hollywood where he can prevent something like that from happening he need that hustle so i do believe that the apology was insincere but what say you Specifically, black women, do you accept his apology? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Damn.